Hey guys, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. Let's make a Japanese dish today called katsu curry, one of my daughter's favourite. So let's get started. We're going to need one medium sized onion, we're going to peel and slice that up and then we're going to slice up three medium sized carrots as well. Heat up a pan, add some oil and we're going to bang in our onions, fry that with desired amount of salt. After a bit of sauteing we're going to bang in the carrots. After a few minutes of stirring we're going to add about 4 cups of water and cover up and let it boil until the carrots and onions have softened up. Roughly about 10 to 15 minutes on medium heat. After the carrots and onions have softened up we're going to bang in 3 blocks of Japanese golden curry and we're going to cover up that up until it all melts the curry blocks have now dissolved in the water now we're going to get a hand blender and blend it until it's gone all smooth and we're done with the curry side guys i'm using the spicy curry blocks you can get the mild one and if it's not spicy enough you can also add more chili powder in it when you add the blocks in now with the amount of curry I made I'm using three large chicken breast I'm going to slice them through the middle not all the way through I'm going to stop right at the tip and make it into a butterfly After slicing them all up I'm going to start marinating the chicken. Usually with this you don't really need to marinate but for a bit of a kick 
I'm gonna marinate them for extra flavor as well so I'm gonna add chicken powder black pepper a bit of salt and dark soy sauce and I'm gonna let it marinate for about a couple of hours oh and I'm also gonna be adding a bit of chili powder too And after a couple of hours we're gonna start coating our chicken so to make the batter well batter and coating we're gonna break in two eggs and we're gonna whisk them in together with a fork we're gonna need flour and we're also gonna need panko breadcrumbs which I've made at home and I've got another video on how to make the panko breadcrumbs So we're first going to coat the chicken with flour ensuring it's fully covered and then we're going to dip it inside the egg mixture and then coat it completely with the breadcrumbs. I've heated up some oil in a frying pan and after it's gone hot we're going to add in our chicken and fry them for about six to seven minutes on each side on medium to low heat we don't want the breadcrumbs to burn and then um, the chicken to be raw inside After six to seven minutes of frying on one side this is how it should look like really nice and golden and we fry it for a further six to seven minutes on the other side After the chicken breast has been cooked we're going to drain the oil out and we're going to start slicing the pork up into strips like so. I've already cooked some sushi rice, you can use jasmine rice or any glutinous rice and we're going to add the chicken to the plate and completely cover the chicken with the curry sauce 
and we're gonna add white sesame seeds and black sesame seeds to that for decor And here we go guys, our delicious Japanese katsu curry. Hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did do, hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment and until next time, bye!